pottery, and um, <laughs> I don't know how to read. Um, that, was, that was a meme, but I guess somebody got it. Um, <laughs> anyway, I make YouTube videos and uh, bad jokes. <laughs> videos in the fandom, I would say, come out of your channel. Um, but what most people don't realize, you actually have a really good talent for creating really unique filmmaking style videos outside of the funny comical things that we see on your channel. And I saw I saw this personally when you tweeted that friend video that you recently did, I think like a week or two ago. Did anybody else in the room see that? It got posted? That's pretty cool, right? I'm so, surprised. Yeah, right? I, I think I teared up too. So. <laughs> we see your talent in these YouTube videos, but I think what that was was something even more and even more beautiful than what you currently do. Um, would we be seeing more of that from you? Um, I would. I would like to make more. Uh, the the thing is about that video in particular was it was kind of a vent. I was feeling I was feeling very very frustrated with the community because of all the stuff going on on Twitter. This is like a lot going on within the last month. It's been really hard. And I was feeling really disconnected. And um, my friend Foxmore uh, played that cover for me and sent it to me on Telegram. And um, I listened to it. I'm like, I'm like getting emotional thinking about it, but I listened to it and I literally cried. Like it made me so emotional. And um, when I heard it, I was like, I have to make something to this, this song. So um, I was trying to think of something that's really positive and something that'll like make me feel connected to like kind of like my roots, like when I joined the fandom, why I joined it, like what I love about the fandom, and that's the friendships that I made. So I kind of did that, and I took it to like a, like a storytelling level. And I, I have a degree in film, so that's kind of I kind of get uh, the cinematic and the the directing. Uh, expertise from that, um, and I just kind of ran with it. It took like eight hours to do the whole thing. Like it took probably six hours to film it, and, like two to edit it. Uh, so it didn't. It didn't take long at all. That's like a day. That's, 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 that's a that day of work enough. for most people. Yeah. So so it's not it's not too incredibly difficult to do. It's just I have to I have to um, get the passion and the motivation to make something like that. I I could make something. I could make anything like that like looks nice. Like I could go in the forest and like film trees and like make have a nice depth of field like whatever. That's I would enough. watch it. <laughs> but, I mean, if you know, to know me, I'd be all over that video. But, but um, as for me doing more things like that, it's probably gonna be more few and far between just yeah. because I need I need something to spark it. You like to have meaning behind it yeah, instead of just exactly. staring it for and, and I think I think that's why it made other people emotional too. Like you said you cried is because yeah. because there, there. I, I have passion behind it. If I just made it like, like, oh, this would get a lot of views. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it wouldn't. I don't think it would have had the same effect. Yeah. No, I completely understand that. And kind of on a, a less serious note, circling back to music. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that how he? Yeah, that's his answer for dumbest way to introduce. Yeah, I just, but right now. <laughs> So I have like two. That's fine. <laughs> I'm only, okay, so I'm only gonna tell stories related to first meeting. So um, who went to TFF this year? <laughs> I made a whole video about this, so I'll go over it really briefly. So if you want, if you want to know the detail, you can go to my channel and check out the video. <laughs> like subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Buy my merch, <laughs> whatever. Um, anyway. So I'll, I'll just, I'll go over it really briefly. So basically, um, on Thursday night at TFF, within five minutes of first shooting, um, I broke my wrist. Oh. And I, I didn't really know that I broke it. Um, it was it was like a contusion. It wasn't like a, a fracture or anything. But um, what happened was, uh, I got off the elevator and I was like, I'm ready to suit. Uh, oh, God, I'm so sorry, my nose is really hard. <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, oh yeah. So I got off the elevator, and uh, there was someone who was like, "Oh, I'm here. I love your videos." So I was like, "Oh, thank you." Um, they gave me a hug. Hugged me a little too hard, and uh, my chest popped. And I was like, oh, "Okay." And I like, I felt fine. Um, 
And when I woke up the next morning, I didn't feel fine. <laughs> and uh, for the rest of the con, I couldn't even fold suit because I was in so much pain. And I was telling everyone, like, gentle hugs, please, gentle hugs. <laughs> I can't handle it. So all the TFS, my rib was messed up. That kind of sucks. Um, so that's, that's a really dumb way to get injured from a hug, I think. <laughs> Um, another way I got injured is uh, I was playing Twister in my first suit, oh. <laughs> which is a recipe for disaster. Yes. Um, I literally, I literally, I was filming a video, uh, and I literally fell over and uh, dislocated my shoulder. Uh, that really sucks. So, uh, first shooting is dangerous. <laughs>